welcome to json tutorial today we will discuss about json interview questions this is about myself i have total 16 years of it experience mostly i worked on microsoft technologies okay these are the technology i worked and you can email me on this email id today's agenda is json interview question so first question is what is json json is a text based interchange format independent of programming language and platform used for data transmission between the systems okay so next question is what is file extension of json the file extension of json is dot json so next is what are json types these are the json types like string number boolean object array and null so the next question is what is json object and its example okay so json object is an unordered set of name value pairs json object starts from left braces and end with right braces this one okay so here is an example this is left brace this is live right brace okay this is the name part and this is the value part okay which we are discussing here okay so let's come to the next question is date time is a type in json you can say no so next question is is json support array type you can answer yes json support array type for an example i have created books uh, books array okay so in this format you can write define the array part so the next question is how to parse json string into javascript object or how to convert json string to object so so there is a method called json dot parse okay so in, in in that you need to pass a json string okay here so if you want to get the first name first you have to assign the some object where object and then obj then first dot first name you have to write and you will get the first name here okay so next question is so next is what is json dot parse json dot parse converts json string into javascript object okay so next is what is json dot stringify json dot stringify converts a javascript object into a json string so the next question is what is json syntax rule and give an example of json object okay so first is json data has name value pairs okay json data is separated by comma square braces holds array and curly braces holds object so here is the curly braces and this is the name and value pair and you can see in this square braces you have to define the array part okay next question is the mime type of json it is application slash json so next is what is json p json p means json with padding it is a method used to bypass cross domain policies in web browser it is a method to handle browser restrictions while sending json response from different domains from the clients so this is very simple like there is a policy of web browser cross domain policy so if we are sending data to different domains so this policy will not allow to send the json to the client so json p is used to overcome that the next question is what is drawbacks and limitations of json json does not have type definition json is not suitable for handling very complex large data json does not have dtd so next is different between json and xml so answer is json is lighter and faster than xml json has types but all the data in xml is string json is typed but xml is typeless json object can be easily available in javascript okay so thanks friends hope you like these interview questions best of luck so friends it's a request please support us please like our video and just subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon for latest updates so let me show you how to search my channel in YouTube. Okay, so just go to YouTube and in search bar just type J Y E O N S Geons Tech. Okay, just click on search. 
you will find this channel okay and this is my channel name geon stack i request you to just click on subscribe and press the bell icon as well